Hey folks, it's Ray at DCMerica.com here, and today I have a quick tip on how to use Garmin's new Strava and Kamut automatic routing native synchronization goodness. Uh, now you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, don't Strava and Kamut already have Connect IQ apps to get their routes on your devices? And I'd say yes, that's true, technically, uh, but a couple of catches. One, they aren't awesome. Uh, by aren't awesome, I mean the Strava app. In general, I want to burn every time I use it. Uh, in particular, I'm talking the Connect IQ app, not the phone app. The Connect IQ app that syncs the routes from Strava down to your device. It's not awesome at all. Um, but two, it actually is pretty limited in support. It's not on a lot of devices. Uh, and this is my two boxes of past Garmin devices. And what's cool about this, this works way the hell back. So almost every device here will now work with this. Even things like this old school Edge 500 from 2009 actually works with this. So because this is a quick tip video, I'm gonna get straight into things. Uh, first with Strava and then with Kamut. Now, now if you already got your Strava account linked up to your Garmin account, you do need to ensure that the courses option is toggled, which it probably isn't at this point. So go into settings on the Garmin Connect side and then into account information, and then you'll see a Strava uh, section for your and then you'll see Strava and finally courses. Toggle that and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna show you how it works with the new route first, then we'll talk about older routes. Uh, so with the new route, I'm just gonna pencil, we're gonna go from where I am to somewhere else. We're gonna go there, center of town, boom, done. Okay, now I'm gonna save this route right here. First, I'm gonna call it something useful like um, center of Amsterdam. Okay, done. And now importantly, you'll see that star is there. That star tells Strava to sync it to uh, my Garmin Connect account and onwards to my Garmin devices. So I'll click save on that. And I wait a couple seconds and I'm done. Okay, so now next, I take my Garmin device. This works for anything that supports courses. And we'll talk more in detail about that later on. And it works on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Smart, or USB. So I'm gonna turn on my Edge uh, 530 right here. Go back out from my previous courses, and you'll see in just a second, it's gonna to connect to Wi-Fi at the top. I've removed this from Bluetooth Smart Pairing on my phone, just to demonstrate over Wi-Fi, because I think it's kind of fun. Uh, so, got this little Wi-Fi icon right there. In just a moment, it'll synchronize the courses, uh, and then we can go into the courses menu and look at that there. Okay, there we go, we got the download complete. So now we go into the navigation menu, into courses, and we should find our Amsterdam center in here somewhere. There we go, down, down, down. There we go, center or Amsterdam, because apparently I can't type. Uh, at this point, we can crack this open, just like any other normal course, and ride it. It's as simple as that. Uh, elevation is in there, all the goods are in there, uh, just like you normally expect from a course from Strava. Uh, now, you may remember I said you have to favorite it, uh, and that's important because that, of course, tells Strava to send it to your grammar device, and also tells Strava to send it to Wahoo and every other device company out there. Um, but what about your older courses? Well, in that case, you need to unfavorite first and then refavorite again, uh, which only takes a couple seconds. I would like swipe down and refresh in between those favorites. And the reason for that is somewhat logical. Strava with almost 50 million users, Garmin with tens of millions of users, uh, and there's tens of millions of routes between them. If they just overnight enabled this for all that stuff and sent all those millions and millions of routes to all those millions and millions of users, bad things would happen. It would be a complete cluster. Um, so that's why they're not doing that. Well, what about Knut? Well, Knut said, hold on a second. Hold my beer. I got you here. Uh, and to be fair, it's not quite that, I mean, it's, it's that simple. Huh? So, for Kamut, we'll set this aside from the Strava standpoint and look at the Kamut side of the house. You need to ensure that your Garmin and your Kamut accounts are linked, which it may be, but you also need to ensure that the courses side of that is linked as well. So go into settings and then down into connections and you'll see there's an option now to link the courses, you need to reauthorize it with Garmin. Uh, and that makes sense. And that's why Kamut will actually backfill all of your past ones because you're explicitly telling it to do it versus in the case of Garmin and Strava, they're just doing it on your behalf. So none is right or wrong, they're just different, that's fine. So anyways, once you have that done, um, it'll backfill all of your past commute routes, but for creating a new route, it's just as easy. So I'm just gonna use the app to do that here. I'm gonna choose somewhere, I'm gonna choose, let's see right there, sheep, beautiful. We're gonna choose some sheep, we're gonna set that as the destination. Uh, we're gonna click save right there. I'm gonna say um, sheep patrol, there we go. And click save. And that's done. My route's created there on Kamut. Uh, and now I go back here. Uh, and you know, there isn't really a great way to like force a Garmin Edge device to resync. Uh, so I'm gonna just simply turn it off and turn it back on again, which forces the Wi-Fi to connect and pull down those routes. And something I do like about the Wahoo devices, there's that like sync routes option. Uh, and that probably makes more sense going forward for Garmin now that they have this sort of capability built into it. There we go, download complete. 
Uh, so we'll go down here into navigation, courses, and we should be able to find our sheep patrol down here somewhere. There we go. And we're done. It's as simple as that. Uh, now, as I mentioned, it works on any device that supports courses. Uh, so this Edge 800, it works just fine. Uh, it'll work on older Phoenix watches, newer Phoenix watches, older Garmin watches or Garmin Forerunner watches. Uh, it work on things that aren't even like the Forerunner and you know wearable series, like some of the outdoor stuff it should work on because it's courses and course sync. Uh, all the way back to 2009, it has to support a dot .fit file course. Versus prior to that, like on the 400 305 I tried, it only supported .tcx courses. And so in that case, it synced actually to the 400 305, but wouldn't complete and enumerate that course on the device itself. So what about this Edge 500? Uh, just to show you this, because of course I'm gonna show you, why wouldn't I? Uh, now, of course, this update won't magically bring Wi-Fi or Bluetooth Smart to this little baby, um, but it will bring these courses to it. So I gotta use a USB cable, mini USB, there we go. Plug that in. I use Garmin Express right there. I know I could have screen recorded, but this is just more fun. It's more appropriate for syncing an Edge uh, 500 to do this old school style. You'll see that right there, it's syncing. Uh, now I'm gonna warn you, this will take a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm gonna fast forward the part where it actually syncs and the part where it shows up on the device itself because in my experience, this takes at least a few minutes to do it this way. I forgot how slow this was back in the day. Okay, and you'll see it says sync complete. At this point, these things should be on there. Uh, it took just a couple minutes, no big deal. We'll now unplug it right here, move this out of the way, uh, and turn this baby back on again. Okay, now it's back on, so we'll go into the menu. We'll left hand button down. Oh, look at that speed. Uh, into training, down to courses. And let's see if we can find it here. Sheep Patrol, there we go. That's the one from right there. And somewhere in here is probably the Amsterdam one as well. There we go, Center or Amsterdam. Uh, so we can load up Sheep Patrol right there. Uh, Let's we'll just look at the map because we're not gonna do the course. It's processing. It might process for a while. There we go, out to the, the sheeps, and that's as simple as that. Uh, now, of course, you're not gonna get all the full maps on this old device, but you get breadcrumb trail just like you would have had in 2009. Okay, now one final note about this is that for both Kamut and Strava, these are putting course copies into your Garmin Connect account, and so you will see those there. Also, this isn't gonna be just limited to Kamut and Strava. It's for any platform that wants to adopt the Garmin Courses API, uh, which means that we'll probably see other mapping services, uh, maybe like Ride with GPS or something like that, uh, push them into your Garmin Connect account as well. Uh, so with that, hopefully you found this interesting. If so, go ahead and like that like button bottom there. It really does help out this video and the channel quite a bit. Or hit subscribe for more sports technology goodness. Uh, now that companies at spring, things are warming up, companies are warming up, new products are coming out, so you will not want to miss those. With that, have a good one.